Okay, so a while back, I posted this tweet, Postgres over Tailwind CSS. And let me just say, this blew up. This got over half a million views, almost 3,000 likes, 434 comments, 469 retweets. Cool. First of all, I had no idea this would be the reaction I would get. I literally woke up and decided, let me just post something random. This was at 9.45 a.m. I was just waking up. I think I vividly remember I had a fresh cup of coffee, took a sip. And I said, you know what? I'm going to tweet something utterly stupid and nonsensical. And here it is. What I love about tech Twitter is it's so funny to see people's reaction to this. And I think the best one to summarize all of it comes from low level learning, big shout out. I'm confused and offended. And this is the the best part because people on tech Twitter love to be offended. It's like they're number one sport. They're the professionals at being offended. You say something wrong about their favorite programming language, they're offended. You disagree with their opinion, they're offended. You say something nasty about their favorite tech Twitter influencer, they're offended. You say something wrong about socks, their favorite framework, a language, a talk that Dan Abramov did, I'm offended. To me, it's so funny to see some of these reactions. I think people who have a good sport say funny things and add on like forks over vacuum cleaners, CLL over front end, MongoDB over 3JS, C++ over HTML, Bootstrap over Docker, Bananas over Potatoes, huh? Vercel over Rust. <laughs> Point of view, making this post and knowing the comments ahead of time. Yeah. I had a feeling this would be what was happening. <laughs> See it, car over shovel. So there's a lot of funny things that happen in personally from this tweet, but I think something that captured everything so pleasantly is when this moved on beyond just Twitter. So over at Reddit, great pool of people, Programmer humor, Django is better than Debian. You can see my post there. And uh, you can see a lot of people were posting a lot of stuff. But one thing I really liked came from Destruction Catalyst that had this link of a classic article, SQL versus CSS, what's the difference, which is better? An actual article posted on the differences, like a side-by-side -side comparison of these two, okay? And then to go even further, this was retweeted in uh, Programmer Humor, and then there's another really good tweet here. Here you go. Melky is a half brain dead front end developer. I can guarantee it's not figuring out what he meant. I really like that comment because it started to really dong on me that this went over everyone's head and people were starting to take this very seriously. People genuinely were trying to figure out what do I mean by Postgres being better than Tailwind CSS how does that make sense? One's a database, one's a styling framework. Are you stupid, Melky? My genuine reaction is being speechless because I have no idea how anyone ever can see this and fundamentally believe that I have any sort of reasoning or thought behind this. This proved my point of what I wanted to do and how easy it is to ruffle feathers on tech Twitter. If you want a post that does insane numbers, get people from two different communities upset. I upset the Postgres database people and I also upset the Tailwind CSS people all in one go. And then there are people in between who are familiar with these technologies trying to figure it out and puzzle together like there's some sort of detectives what I truly meant in this. And this was so fun to be honest. Be the person who sees this, laughs, gives a like, maybe gives a comment and then go on with your day. Don't be the person who starts a thesis to diagnose how this doesn't make sense because it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It never made sense. It wasn't supposed to make sense. I think the person who made this article, well, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about this article. A use cases, taking the steps to learn career paths between SQL and, and see it. Facts about SQL used by massive companies like Google, Amazon, Meta, the standard and database management languages, sees usage in every field you can think of. Facts about CSS has native support for HTML and cannot function without it. Makes designing web pages a much easier task, easy to pick up compared to other web oriented programming language. <laughs> I'm choking. Um, okay, anyways, that's all I want to say about this. I think my main point is stop taking things so seriously on tech Twitter. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Stop taking your favorite influencer so seriously. It's all memes. Have fun. And uh, yeah, don't engage in stupid debates unless you're really bored. But if you're that bored, go outside and touch some grass. All right, I love you. Talk to you soon. Peace.